Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make these cute little flowers and they're edible too. This video is brought to you by our sponsor, Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com. So I originally thought I would make these chocolate pretzels and I'll have a link in the video description if you've never done them before because I have other tutorials on that. I was gonna put them in my one by seven um, clear bags from Paper Mart, but they just weren't wide enough. These are wide enough to do the pretzels with a light coating, but not wide enough for this heavier coating. So I ended up using plastic wrap. So if you want to do this with a heavy coating and you want the bags, get the two and a quarter by eight and a half inch bags. And that will also accommodate if you like to do the, uh, like the Wilton uh, pretzels in the molds. That way you can have that extra width for that. So I just wrap these with um, with plastic wrap and then on the bottoms you want to just put a little piece of washi tape just to secure the ends and the top we're going to be securing with our flowers. So what I did was I just die cut a bunch of flowers with my die cut machine downstairs and these are the uh, Tim Holtz tattered floral dies and I'm just going to grab out a couple different sizes here and you can use whatever dies you want or cut them by hand totally fine. And then I'm going to fold each flower in half and just snip off that corner point. Okay, and you want to do it to the big one as well. Just fold it in half and in half again. Now you can get this. This is the, um, the premium crepe paper from Paper Mart. It's very affordable. I've been using um, the rolls that I have for a couple of years. They go a long way. So then you end up with these little openings in here. And the nice thing about it is that you can shape these petals a little bit. And I'll show you that with the leaves. Um, it's more, you can shape them more if you have them all cut in the direction of the crepe paper. So you probably want to hand cut them like in a strip or something. Cut the petals in a strip if you want to do that. So I'm not going to hand shape the um, the the uh, the petals here. I'm gonna gonna do that to the leaves though. So I'm just gonna pull that right on there. Pull that over the top. Now for the bigger one, I'm gonna pull it up from the bottom so we can kind of cup around that first flower there. And tension is gonna hold this one on. Oh, and I wanted to say, if you do this with the bags, I would make it so the bottom, the opening is on the bottom and you won't need that washi tape because it'll have the peel and uh, stick. So that way somebody could take the pretzel out but still keep the flower, maybe stick a piece of paper in there or a pencil in there or something just to uh, make it stand up and they'd have a cute bookmark when they're done. I like to think of like ways that the crafts can be reused because I don't like to see um, garbage. So I like to make things that last a little bit. So now what I'm doing is I'm just gently um, kind of folding up my petals here, just try to space them around a little bit because um, with this die you're going to end up with more petals than you need kind of. So I just want to have a fairly even, um, evenly spaced flower. So just kind of kind of fuss with it a little bit. And then you're going to need a piece of washi tape to wrap around the end here to secure everything in place. Okay, so this is kind of I just try to start it on there while it's down on the table and then I lift it up and I can kind of pinch and shape as I go around. Don't worry if it looks a little crazy at this point because we will be adding leaves and that's going to really pull it all together. So just go around with that washi tape. You probably don't even need that much. All right. So yeah, this looks a little crazy. You can you can fluff and, and spread the petals out a bit if you want to. And I won't worry about it too much. Now when I did the petals, I um, I cut them, I, I took a stack of pieces of crepe paper and I put them down in the direction of the petals so that I can stretch them and kind of cup them and make this nice little petal shape, this nice little leaf, cupped leaf shape. So I would pay attention and do your, do your leaves like that. It really does make a difference in how this is going to come out because this is the outer layer, that's what's going to show. And then before we start to put this on, we want to get our tape ready. So pick a, a pretty washi tape you like. Um, you can get plain and you can, you know, plain comes in packs, multi-packs at Paper Mart and the individuals come, the patterns come individual. And I think I like this stripe. I'm going to use the same one I used elsewhere on that flower. And I'm going to pull off a piece and just stick it to my mat. Just tear it. So that's the nice thing, you don't need to use scissors because it tears. And then I'm just going to do one at a time. I'm just going to start it with that first one. And then I'll add the next one. Just try to evenly space. And the nice thing about washi tape is that it's not super sticky. So if it starts to roll back on you, it's not going to tear when you un unwind it. And then we're going to get that last piece in there. And see, it really does come together. You know, it's like once you get those leaves on, everything else kind of behaves for you. 
and there you have your cute um, Valentine or birthday or whatever you want flower. So the chocolate I'm using um, is red and white for Valentine's Day, but you can use whatever color you want. You can find those at any craft stores or even like big department stores like Walmart should carry these. Now to finish this up, I just put this in a wide mouth mason jar, but you could use a vase or, or whatever you have that would keep these upright. Um, if you have a lot of them, you could probably do them in a bowl because they would be wide enough. The pretzels would be wide enough to hold them in place. And um, I just tied on some of my beautiful Paper Mart Organza Ribbon. This is the um, two and three quarter inch Organza Ribbon. It's just pearl pink is the color. And that's all there is to it. I think it's really pretty. And if you feel like you want to weight the um, the jar down a bit. Glass jar is pretty heavy, but if you have a plastic base or something you want to weight it down, you can use the flat backed marbles to do that and it will add a little bit of sparkle to it as well if it's clear. So it's kind of a fun option. I want to thank you so much for watching today. I'll have a list of all the supplies I used in the video description. Thank you so much and please check out our sponsor Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com. Packaging for less.